It's very hard for me to just get behind a comedy that's just total and complete about nothing. I could be blamed for doing pictures like that, but I could always tell you what the movie was really about. Death Becomes Her fascinated me because it dealt with obsessions. It dealt with fear of aging. It dealt with women's relationships to each other. It dealt with male-female relationships. In a sense, when you came out of this picture, what one should have felt, certainly what I felt in reading the script, is I felt that life is to be celebrated. This picture, of course, denied and defied that rule, which is exactly what a black comedy is about. It makes you start to think about your life. For most people, I was playing against type, the sex, the femme fatale, the, you know, the, the seductress. It really isn't, because that part of me is alive and well. But in terms of perceptions, yeah, I mean, that's not what I do. That's not what people hire me to do, supposedly. But what fun for an actor. What a great thing to be able to have a platform, a canvas, a director who says, I want you to do this. I believe in you enough and your range and talent that you can, you know, explore yourself in this movie. So Bob Z looked at us and said, I want you to play that role, Goldie. I want Meryl to play that role. Mad hell! Oh. I did say, but Bob, I sing and dance. <laughs> Nobody ever used me to sing and dance. This is the perfect time. He said, ah, I have my reasons. I want you to play something you've never played before. Ah, girl, dumb. Yeah, I got to be fat. Oh, they called it Flabbercast. <laughs> I think that they made that name up because it was really flabby. I got very claustrophobic when they started putting on the makeup because it was all over my face and my neck, and I, I, just, I just felt what it's gonna happen if I wanna just rip this off my face right now. I can't, because it's glued to my skin. You know, I'd, I'd have to lay down and get into the bodysuit, and it was about 40 pounds, and they stuck an, an air hose in me because what's interesting is is that you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. How are you, Goldie? I'm doing good. You want to sit down? You want, no, I can go. And suddenly, boom, get me out. Get me out of this suit. I'm going to die. That's how quick your body temperature goes up. And it won't go down. So, you, you know, it is one of those things that they had to keep that air compressor, you know, hose on my back. <laughs> I'd stand there like this. Let's talk about from a directorial point of view. What is the movie about? And how does this character serve the plot? I felt that Helen wasn't serving the plot the way she could have. So Bob and I together sat down and we talked about how we can make her so destitute, so crazed, so maniacal. How could we do this? So when she finally falls, she falls so hard that she comes back with a vengeance. And we and the writers came up with this idea. Anything you'd like to talk about? Madeline Ashton. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Is this where we are, Helen? For you to have a life, you have to erase her from your mind. You have to completely eliminate any... What? You have to completely eliminate. You're it. right. What? You're absolutely right. And that's the moment when she decides that she's going to kill Madeline. When you are playing something that isn't there, basically they are doing it all later. The special effects studios, they do that. I had to pretend to do certain things. I had to imagine things are there that aren't there. Um, but we do that when we're in front of actors who are giving nothing back anyway. <laughs> I mean, when an actor isn't there for you, man, you can't give up, you know? You've got to pretend that whatever you're getting is just perfect. What they did was, when I had this hole in my stomach, 
I wore this sort of outfit, very tight outfit, and then they put a black hole right here made out of rubber. And so what I had to do is I had to play the hole that was just there. Look at me, Ernest. Just look at me. I'm soaking wet. And there seems to be something wrong with your, uh, blouse. So that's what I did. Oh. I went, You know, and so that was basically what I did. I did not do my own stunt when stunt. I flew into the pool because it was far too dangerous. They attached the girl to a, uh, a rope and, you know, gave her a harness and, and really, I mean, it was uh, very dangerous. I hit a dummy. You know, it was a shoulders and part of a head and I could just bash the hell out of that thing. And it was very weird. Pain! I'll tell you about pain! I've never done that in a film before. <laughs> <laughs>